The next thing we're going to be looking at is your PowerPoint. So your Constellation PowerPoint, guys, this is referring to what we did at the beginning of the marking period with Gustav Holtz. Gustav Holtz went ahead with each planet. He took the mythology and made music for it. Well, you're going to do the same idea, except you're going to not use planets. You're going to use the constellation. And you're going to use the mythology of the constellation, and you're going to make music for it using Mixcraft 6. So we're going to be making music. So for an overview of it, for 7th grade music PowerPoint, think of the planets of Gustav Holtz. It's, he did the planet, turned into music. What music traits help portray each musical planet mythology? So, you know, what type of tempo, what type of dynamics, the instrumentation itself, and so on. You're doing the same thing, but instead of planets, you're doing a constellation. All right, your PowerPoint is at least six pages for your PowerPoint. It may be longer, but it's at least six pages. Your first page, that's simple. It's just a cover page, name of the constellation, your period, stuff like that. The next page, this is the scientific page. What I want is a picture of the actual constellation from the sky. Okay, I don't want a hand-drawn thing. It's a nighttime picture. You may have a picture that has dots that connect each one so you can kind of see the outline. That's okay. But I don't want a hand-drawn image. I want an actual picture of the nighttime sky. Then I want two to five scientific facts about the constellation or the stars within it or something like that. That's essentially the scientific type stuff that Mr. Williams would have covered in the planetarium. Number three, the third page, that's your mythology page. Guys, I want a picture of the mythological creature, mythological person, something like that. When you have the pictures, you can just put them in there. You can make the pictures, the background, it's up to you. How you put the pictures in is up to you, but I want a picture of the mythology. And then two to five mythological items of the constellation. In other words, tell me two to five things about the story. Something that has to do with the story of it. The fourth page, music characteristics. All right, this is if you were going to be like Gustav Holtz and you could do an entire full orchestra. We're not going to be doing a full orchestra. But if you could, tell me what type of tempo you want, what dynamics, the instruments, and why you choose them. Don't just say, I want trumpet, I want loud, and I want fast. That's not going to get you a good grade. Tell me you want it loud. Why do you want it loud? It's loud because this person was going into battle. Then after a little bit, it's going to get softer because the battle's over and they're reflecting. As far as the tempo, I want it to be somewhat slow in the beginning, but then fast during the battle and then slow again. Those are the type of specifics I want when it comes to actually describing your music characteristics. Now, page five. This is your music page, guys. I want a picture of the constellation or mythology, your choice, that's going to look, so, something for people to look at, in the background while the piece is being played. Guys, this musical piece you are making down here below. It says you will be making the music for this project on the fifth page. You're using Mixcraft 6 to make the music. I suggest you use the song kits as far as your divider, but if the song kits don't work for you, you can choose style. If you choose the style under the little separated for separating the instruments in the library, you can also find a song and make a song for it. So that's your piece. You're making the music according to the constellation. And then finally, acknowledgement page. Tell me where you got your pictures, where you got your website info for scientific, where it is for mythology, and so on. Use direction sheets. All right, the direction sheets, guys, um, again, you go to the website here. McCaffrey, over here on the left-hand side, there's a whole bunch of stuff here now. You open up 7th grade constellation. Here is the direction sheet. All right, tells you the different constellations. Guys, you can choose any constellation you want. I don't care. Any constellation. Talks about the slides, where to find the pictures in the website, which I'll go over in a second. Pictures. Guys, do not copy and paste the pictures. If you do that, it only works on your computer, and I cannot see it later on. It'll just show a red X. You have to save the image and then insert your picture, which is down here, the next direction. The music, again, you're going to be using Mixcraft 6. Here's a little link so that way it can review how to use Mixcraft. Insert the music into it. shows you how to do it. There's a couple little tips here on working on your PowerPoint, and here's how to view the full screen at the end of it. 
So all the links and directions you need are right here under Constellation. There's a lot of stuff, so I just minimize these to make it easier. Now, for the pictures, all right, to get any information, the pictures, to get the mythological, get scientific, you're going to go to the Mythactin website. Once you're here, you're going to go to Arcola, and from Arcola, we're going to select Planetarium. Once you select the planetarium, over here on the left-hand side, it actually says constellations. Guys, these are the links that Mr. Williams put up with all the different links for the constellations for you to use. So if you go up here and you just click on constellations, and I'll show you this first one because this one you do have one more step. This, you don't see much. You've got to go to the main table. Guys, here's all the different constellations that are available. All right, you got all different ones. It's not all 88, I don't think, but there's a bunch. What you choose is up to you. If you choose something like Cassiopeia, when you open it up, it's going to give you some of the information that is scientific, some of the stuff that is mythological. So this is a good website. Down here it talks about some of the scientific stuff, when you see it, where you see it, what time of year, some of the stars that are in it, and so on. If you go to something that is not as popular as, let's say, Cassiopeia. Let's go to, how about Gruss? Much shorter, not as much information. However, can you do this? Absolutely. You can do whichever you want, guys, but how much information available is up to you. You are allowed to use Google to find your images, all right? My computer just froze. You are allowed to use Google to find your images. Once you type in what you want, you know, let's say Gruss. All right. You can use the images. This picture, perfectly fine. This picture, not so much. This one is just a picture of dots and showing you the actual outline. This is the nighttime sky still with dots. So that's the difference. This one, no good. This one, perfect. Over here where there's nothing, I'm okay with that too. But again, to save the picture, you're going to open it. Once this pops up, you right-click on this picture, save picture as, and then you go through the different steps to save your picture inside your piano folder number. So, any questions on this? This is your PowerPoint project, guys. This is the one you're going to be completing after you're finished the other projects.